Hey guys, Jake Alfano here. Um, <clears throat> today, I'm holding my iPhone, by the way, because there was no good angle I could get, so I can actually do the ink review. But um, today I am reviewing, as you can see, a Cross ink. This is the only ink I own so far. But this is the Cross Blue, as you can't see because it won't focus. Blue. Um, so, first of all, the presentation. The Cross is... It just has a brown label. It says blue. It is two fluid ounces, um, made in Germany, as you can see there, sort of. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a basic, very basic, nice-looking bottle. It's just simple. On the bottom, it says Germany and other whatever. But yeah, it's a nice bottle, really basic, just brown label, you know. Uh, sorry, nothing special. Um, I have heard, I, I've never actually owned, well this is the only ink I own, so I don't know what the Pelican inks actually look like, but I've heard that this is the exact same ink as the Pelican, uh, 401, or 4001, whatever. Um, it is, like, a similar bottle from everything I've seen, except the bottle's just smaller than the Pelican, and the color is very similar to the blue of the Pelican, if not exactly the same. So, yeah, I'm not sure on that. But yeah, overall the bottle is nice, you know, nothing special. You can see the ink through there. Um, the box is, oops, sorry if this is really shaky guys, but this is the only way I can do it. Um, the box is boring, as you can see, this cost me $8 where I bought it. Um, fountain pen ink, fountain pen ink, fountain pen ink, you know, nothing, really. So that is that. Um, now on to the actual ink review. Um, I have written reviews written out and I will talk about them. Um, I did these reviews, by the way, with my Lamy Safari, which I will be reviewing here after I finish this video. Um, so there's that. So yeah, this is, um, I have two parts to this review because I'm going to be comparing a couple of different kinds of paper with it, with the ink. But, um, as you can see, it's a nice blue. So... Crossable ink review. Um, I use my Lamy Safari, as you know, it is a fine nib. Um, the ink is obviously cross brew, brew, blue. Um, this is my Lusterm 1917 notebook, as you can see. So, uh, this is the first paper I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, so the bottle, you already saw. Cost, you already saw, was eight bucks. But the color, as you can see, is a nice, it's just a basic blue. Um, it can appear slightly lighter or darker on different papers, which I will be showing you here in a minute. And there's not a lot of shading, so there's your colors. Um, it's the smudge, like the smudge tests are like the dry times, as you can see, were very fast on this paper, just you know a couple seconds. And feathering and bleed through, there's hardly any, except you can see it feathered a lot here when I mess with um, just trying to get some shading and just flexing the nib, which I don't think worked very well. But yeah, um, so yeah, so here's the bleed through. There's none except where I did that bit of flexing. Or there's hardly any, anyways, I should say. So, there's that half of the review. But then, then I took my mead, just, you know, your basic, uh... Oh, this isn't a five-star. Oops, I thought it was a five-star. Uh, I don't know, just whatever, the extreme notebook. I don't know what this is. But, um... <clears throat> I thought I had my mead five-star. I don't know, whatever, ow. But, um... So now you can see both that my nib wrote a lot differently compared to Blue Sturm. It looks a lot finer here. But also the ink looks a little bit lighter. It looks like I'm using a completely different pen and a completely different ink. Like as you can see there, the color compared to here. Here it looks a lot like more saturated and richer. But, um, <clears throat> I mean it looks even just like a big ballpoint right there. Like... But, um, yeah, so I've already told you all the information that I wrote in here. I just copied it word for word, just so you can see kind of a comparison. So, yeah, um, and also on this paper, something about it, I mean, this paper is really shiny, as you can see, for whatever reason. So it might just be something about the way the paper was made, but, um, you can see with the dry, the smudge and, like, test and, like, the dry times that, um, it didn't do so well. It stood up to about 20 seconds, so, you know, of course, your first second it's gonna smudge, but then... Moving upwards of 10, 15, 20, it was still being bad. But the feathering and bleed through are a little bit better than on the loose term. There's nothing except where I did that little test, but the flexing is absolutely nothing. And there's no feathering, obviously. It looks like a big ballpoint. 
So overall, it is a nice color. I'm going to go back to my loose one. Um, overall, it's a nice color. I really like it. It's just your basic blue. Um, it writes nicely. It's pretty saturated. Um, it flows well. I mean, I haven't had any problems with my Lamy so far. And I mean, it looks nice, except it will, depending on the paper you're using, I mean, it doesn't feather or anything at all. No bleed through. But on the paper you're using, the color can look different and can have a different dry time, which is kind of interesting. I think that's more of a paper property than the actual ink, but still. So yeah, also this ink is fairly cheap, uh, 8 bucks for a 2 fluid ounce bottle, which is a pretty good deal. Um, I'm sure you could get it cheaper elsewhere, but I only have one pen shop anywhere near me, so there you go. So yeah, I guess that's it guys, I mean, it's a good ink, I know that there aren't any reviews up on like Fountain Pen Network for any of the cross inks, um, um, there aren't any reviews on YouTube really of cross inks, so I figured I'd put it out there for you guys. Um, sorry if the video is shaky because, as I've said, I'm holding it, my, my phone physically, which is why this is kind of a weird review because I'm just like kind of showing you stuff. I couldn't really write if I was holding it because I'd be shaking all over the place like literally. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys next time. I will be reviewing my Lamy Safari next. Um, yeah, that's it. So, bye.